Hello everyone and welcome back to Trek Yards. I'm Captain Foley. And I'm Clonicles. Fire torpedoes! Oh my god! But not just any torpedoes. Okay, we're fine. Fire the new, strange new world's Tron torpedoes. Cause... Daft Punk, you've designed again! Oh, we'll never yeah. retire. We're, we're, gonna take, we're here today to talk about torpedoes. So we saw a torpedo casing in Strange New Worlds. The neon which torpedo. We never really saw one. We never saw a torpedo, torpedo casing in TOS, so. Yeah, just saying. And did you guys actually notice it? Because it is actually a plot point. And I saw so it, I was like, ooh, ooh. And they have a phenomenal zoom in shot. Phenomenal. You see a tube. Yeah, you get to see the torpedo tubes on the front. It's like, whew. Yeah. And then it launches with gravity. But unlike Brian Johnson's in uh, Australia, there is gravity. They explain it. It's great. It's cool. Good. And then it explodes off camera. Very underwhelming. Yes. Yes. But a cool idea. Now, what did you think when the thing lit up your screen? Yeah, and I'm sure the lights off, Stuart, and, and the screen was on full brightness, and suddenly a whole room was, was green. Was bluey green with, with envy. It's a little flashy. It's a little showy. Um... It looks like a, you know, like a really fancy phone, or maybe even a cool uh, phaser one. <laughs> mm. Actually, that top shot it looks like a phaser one for sure. Oh my god! Mm. Uh, it, I don't know. It, it, it's a little much, I think, but uh, you don't need to make it so complex and intricate, lighting wise. It's like it's not there for looks. It's there to do a job. So. Well, and obviously, in fairness, we have seen Tapir launch previously in this show, and they are still the red glowing. Zoom. So it's just, it's interesting that, yeah, they choose to have it in a non active state, non propelled state, have a billion LED panels. And as in this graphic, you can see comparatively through evolution of time, at least in our original uh, visual continuity, you've got the Enterprise NX1 aerial torpedo, the Star Trek 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 torpedo. <laughs> and the TNG torpedo. And they're all kind of the same prop. Give or take. Especially, um, I believe the Enterprise was sort of the exact mould just repainted and made some new ones on. Because, you know, they're you know, making a big thing life-size, they're a little expensive. But clearly torpedoes, just like the bullet, hasn't changed much. Once you design a thing that works, I mean, this is... Up until Voyager, you see them. So that's 300 years, 250 years of history. Unchanged to the nth degree. This is obviously an outlier, and I'm not including JJ because they're alternate universe entirely, but it, but I was thrilled is at least thematically not a missile, it's torpedo shape, sort of. So that, especially considering it was a circular tube, I assumed it was going to be just a, a, a missile because it's a circular tube. But now they fire a, an oval out of a circular tube. Yeah, I'm happy with at least it was close. Although, does it really have to have a big glowing emblem on it? I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that as you said it. Yeah. Like Who's the, that for? For the enemy. Last thing they see before they die. This Delta, like, boom. Because it makes sense to have labels for when it's not blowing people up. Do you need to have a huge Delta? I would love to see the guy that, that first said that Delta has been on literally every single prop, costume, furniture. Was that guy high? Because on every single item, given the, the, the absolute absurd, so do you imagine every other item on the other spectrums of life are going to have these things? You know, toothpaste, you know, uh, contact lenses, if they did them, would have deltas on them. Maybe it'll be the extreme things, because anything, like this is not near a delta on it, a torpedo. Neither does underwear, or towels, or bedding. All it needs is, like we see in Star Trek Two, there, the, the Mark IV... Mark six, whatever that is, um, and you know maybe a serial number, so you know if it gets traded or sold to somebody, and you find the stores, you know you can trace it at least or something. So it needs numbers for sure, but not a big delta necessarily. <laughs> and, and I get the idea of uh, it's a dark scene; we can't see a black torpedo. I've, I've often it's a black thing. I get that. I get that. But then maybe just have a sh a brighter light in the scene for this one shot, you know, or or just have it be that 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 aft engine, which I guess you can't use, uh, light, which you do see in fairness as it does bottom most of these two red lights, which are reminiscent of the Star Trek TMP Enterprise to appear tubes. Like I say, it, it's a visual update of a perfectly perfect design, which has not changed pretty much in 200 years. Speaking of, they get hit 
all the every torpedo on the ship gets destroyed except for one. Yes, they do say that in dialogue, Stuart. Considering, so were they just all nullified or did they explode? Because wow, um, considering where they're launched out of the bottom of the saucer, um, and after torpedoes, I they probably have after torpedoes too in this universe. I assume that if an armory magazine exploded in the saucer, that would be bad. I know you got one door that'll survive. I saw that in Discovery, but uh, did did, did I didn't really. It bothered me at the time when I watched it, and now just remembering that it's like, really, what happened? How many did you have? Three? <laughs> like it doesn't make much sense because you think they'd have at least like forty or fifty torpedoes on board. Yeah, I was at fifty in the forward load. Always two in the magazine. Always two in the tubes just by default because you don't you know at least i would but my me personally yeah and and there's no bottom damage at all so how did a blast either hit the hull and destroy them all believe no damage or hit the shields which are designed to stop damage and also destroy them all yeah they did make a point of saying there's only one left so and maybe they fired and it caused like electrical fire on the inside and it burned them all I would like to imagine that they're all in like loaded magazines that you slot in. So well, Enterprise, I mean, they had them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So maybe the the launch rails or whatever are damaged. Like it's almost something you said here in Battlestar Galactica. The launch launch rails or the launch tubes are damaged. We can't load them. They're they're there, but we only have access to one currently. But then you would spend everything you had, personnel wise, to physically move them because they are designed to be moved by two people. They're not that heavy. Yes. Yes. Uh, but if they're loaded in a magazine and the magazine's like crumpled or like it could be difficult to extract them but you wouldn't also think that all four to be in active magazines you'd have some in just storage ch bays as well I, I I mean it was a cool thing to sort of go in dialogue like we've lost all of our weapons but now thinking there's there's no damage at that part because we see that zoom in like there should have been big like almost, really there should have been a Star Trek 6 moment of a torpedo hitting it causing this crater in the hull and then, like, literally, you can't even get to the tube, and it barely works. Like, that would have been... And it was it was cool. It's just, um... It's a huge thing to say with all of our torpedoes. And now it doesn't mean they can't have our torpedoes ever, like, this ship, because they always oh, have been two... The chance of both the forward and the aft magazine both being destroyed in the same fight... Now, that, that said, though, they would, in theory, if the Gorn are playing a strategic game, you can imagine the Gorn are actually aiming for the weapons. But given they've never met Enterprise before... I guess they would know where the torpedoes are, I suppose, but... Um, hmm. But you've never heard that once in all of Trek. They successfully destroyed your torpedoes. Because you would think you'd actually have extra armor around your weapon storage. And then extra hull plating outside of that. So you have extra internal hull plating, extra external hull plating, and your shields. Because that's obviously... You know, phases are great and all. But they're easily go downable. You don't need a warp core to launch a torpedo. These are the most important weapons in your arsenal. Because one of these can destroy a ship. A phaser, they can cut through something, but it's not the same level of destruction. You need these. I th Basically, Stuart, we need the TOS refit as in into TOS, because that thing has sensible torpedo storage. Those things don't get destroyed. But yeah, I'm okay with the design. It, it's, a, it's at least it's close. It's just Tron. It was a, it was a silly idea. Um, and I, I hopefully they know it was a silly idea, but someone told them to. That's kind of how I'll take away from it. Well, guys, let us know what you think about this whole situation uh, with the torpedoes getting destroyed and what you thought of the look of this one, because we want to hear your thoughts. Comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell icon to all. And please join us any chance you get for our lives and hangout discussions. Mm -hmm. As was, if you can, please do. Fire! Let's go for this. PayPal, Patreon, join the channel on YouTube, super chatting in the live, super thanks in in videos, buying merch down below, or let's be honest, just saying a, a hello in the comments uh, is appreciated. That's right. So, until next time, arm those torpedoes, Commander Cottons. Yes, sir, Captain Foley. Oh, wait, they're gone. Oh. Oh, we don't have any? Okay. Bye, everybody. Sorry. Bye.